So we continue with the torso. I've already done a little bit of smoothing, but you can see around the rib cage, there's a lot to be desired. I don't really have any of my blending going on there, but if you look down at the midsection in the lower vertebra, I get a pretty nice, pretty nice movement. And if I use the spine adjustment, uh, a little bit of crumpling here, uh, likely because I haven't mirrored this over. But I can almost live with that. And if we need to change it, I mean, actually this is pretty good. It's following under the rib line, and as soon as I smooth this out, we'll be okay. So I think I can just maybe take this area here and mirror the weights, and yeah, that's kind of what I thought it would sort it out. Um, let me just pull up that toolbar, all core tools, so I have my rest pose, and put all core back in the pose, and I'll smooth out this area here. It's so easy to really smooth that you don't really have to. There we go. Something happened there. I hit a hit a hot key. <laughs> Thought I was about to crash. Um, you don't really have to, you know, mirror the weights. It's sometimes actually slower to do so. So. I'm just going to make the brush a little bit larger here and see if I can't just paint right around this character. I'll find the side I like the best because sometimes these random paint strokes find themselves favoring one side over over another. In other words, I just by serendipity I'll almost paint a better better weight map sometimes. I think I kind of like this side better. Maybe a little bit more smoothing here. Well, maybe not so much. Let's pull that out. That's a very extreme crunch too for for that character. So likely wouldn't be going much further than that, although we probably can now. And remember, when you t tilt a character on its axis, you also have to account for balance. So the movement's a little bit more complex than just twisting the character. Uh, still doesn't look too good, though. I'm just going to put the character back into a bind pose and see what's wrong. I think I might actually have to do a pretty big blend here. right across the front. This is after all the most flexible part of the character so it should have the most blending. So I'm using a pretty big brush. I'm just re-blending a few times and let's see what that gives us. Let's pull that character over. can use the extra controls. And we can solve this with some additional deformers later on, but I think this doesn't look too bad either. I'm just going to spread this out a little bit more. It's just a little bit too crunched. That's what I'm trying to fix in here. Let's blend all that start to blend the, the rib cage. Um, you probably want a slightly harder transition here, I'd guess, just because you do have the rib cage and then all the soft tissue of the belly under here. So I'll try and do a smaller blend just right in the front here. Maybe expand it a little bit under the armpits. Just allow for some stretching. And because we've got the uh, the scapula back here, there's a lot of skin moving over top of muscle, flesh moving over top of muscle. So I can blend this together with a bit more of a, a lenient brush, a little bit of a softer brush. So again, I don't have to do this side. I'll just see what's going over on this side now. So I kind of just keep working back and forth. Again, just put Melkor back into the bind pose. Uh, I've got my headlight on. That 
actually works pretty well. It's almost breaking a rib at that point. Yeah, I think that'll work. So I'll take the character's left side and mirror it over to the right. And now I can start to focus on the armpits, shoulders, uh, neck area, and move on out to the arms. Let's just do one last test to see how the deformations are working. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And just do some side bends. Take her through her calisthenics. Nice. So, one area down, another few to go.